So one of the things that we also get asked about too is is um, scheduling jewelry, like and personal property items, and and or not scheduling it for that matter, and, and how that can be insured. Uh, and it's a little bit can be a little bit confusing. So we wanted to touch on that, give you some explanation. Nick's got a really good working knowledge about that since he's been in insurance for quite some time. So if you want to touch on that, yeah. So jewelry and other personal property sometimes is defined as sublimits or special limits of an insurance policy. If you get an insurance policy in the mail, it probably looks like this magazine. It's probably like <laughs> that thick right there. Who wants to read all that? Most people have no idea about this aspect of the insurance policy until a claim occurs. So a lot of companies have different endorsements that allow for different levels of coverage uh, on your personal property, uh, such as jewelry, furs, guns, firearms, things of that nature. Um, debris removal for trees, um, fire department service charges. Loss assessment charges. Yeah, there's all sorts of things that are considered sublimits or special limits of a policy. Uh, so being aware of that aspect of the insurance policy uh, is extremely important. But we really get asked a lot about the higher end personal property. The most common thing is jewelry. So somebody buys a wedding ring, which is the most common thing, they wanna make sure that that's covered. And if you don't itemize it onto the insurance policy, it's gonna be subject to the sublimit which can typically be anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000. So if you get somebody that buys a nice $10,000 ring, they want to make sure that it's covered properly. You want to itemize it onto the policy or purchase a separate inland marine policy. There are three main benefits that you get when you schedule something. It's covered regardless of the type of loss, it's not subject to the deductible, and it's covered for the full dollar amount. So those are the main reasons that you're going to want to schedule some jewelry on your policy. Yeah, and you can really schedule any personal property. Uh, a friend of mine who's a realtor actually has a $10,000 bass guitar that he has scheduled onto his policy. I've had customers schedule uh, coin collections. Um, basically, I have a, somebody that has a piano scheduled onto their policy. You can do it with guns and furs. So any higher end personal property that you have, if you're not sure if it should be scheduled or not, that's why you have an agent. That's right. what you want to use and uh, ask those questions for.